Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior, and his Christmas sweater. Um, this is actually my Drew. Uh, mine is five star silver. It is not my sweater. <clears throat> I'll have to earn it like everyone else. Snowfall gems do 200% more damage is the boost. It also works on bonus damage. So the spinning future shock you see here where it says uh, 14,900 bonus damage. Uh, by the time we get in the game, it's going to be almost 45,000 damage. Uh, so I'm going to run three different uh, builds with the sweater. Kind of show you guys. They're just all snowfall uh, builds with that future shock in there because it affects that the most. And let you guys see what it looks like. Um, so this is the first move set we're going to run. It would be his five-star move set. It's triple green, claymore kick, 10 MP green finisher, deal 100k damage, and choose a six by two area to swap into yellow gems. Spinning future shock, 8 MP green, deal 89k damage plus 14,000 damage uh, bonus for each snowfall gem. And then the overhead belly to belly suplex, 8 MP green, deal 65k damage and make 15 random gems into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you. I do have a strap equipped to him. Uh, I have the heavy machinery on for this one to help recycle because he's breaking yellow every time with the finisher. Uh, you're always going to get at least three green MP back. Um, you, there's other plates you could use. We'll talk about that in his match. Ideally, this would be a double fury setup for me. Um, but I don't have enough metals to go around, so I run him a uh, double fury, uh, or sorry, fury and takedown set. I do have the green move damage metal, very important for this build. You would want a green move damage percentage metal. Um, so that's the strap. Entourage, we're running with steel and breeze for more green MP. If you don't have breeze, I would honestly probably put Jake the Snake. Um, and almost do so you could guarantee or as close to guarantee you can a green match on your first turn um, is probably who I would run there. Uh, Seamus and Alpha for more blue gem damage because of the snowfalls. A lot of different combinations you could run there. You could do any kind of yellow gem damage, any kind of green move damage, defensive trainers, etc., etc. But for this, we're going to have these on. I'm going to start off going against, because my Drew's 5-star silver, 5-star uh, silver Z-Taker. Um, I do have tour perks, plus 3. They're maxed, so plus 3 and plus 2 on a match. Um, I'll run a few of them because this gear is really good um, uh, of each build. Probably a couple at least of each one. So in Feud, you wouldn't start with all 3 charged, so that is the downside to this. However... Um, the upside is, uh, it hits super, super hard. Um, so you can see with the green move damage metal, this one's 150k damage and I crit, so it's even more. Um, besides the heavy machinery, you could also use the glowing phantom phenom, not guaranteed of getting purple, but it would help. Uh, cheap shot is always great on anything with a big finisher like we have for the claymore kick. But here you can see the spinning future shock, the gear, we're taking advantage of that bonus damage. Almost 45,000 for each of those 15 gems we just threw out. Um, so Taker's at 1.4 million health. Let's see where he's at after this. All the way down to 577,000. So that was almost a million damage, but we were at like 900,000 uh, damage right there. And then uh, the finisher should easily end this match. And you can see we did refill um, that time. So that's against the five star silver. Um, Ended it pretty quickly. Uh, it isn't it isn't a guaranteed recycle though, so let's take it out against um, a five star gold. Where and see if we can keep him down with the first pin, or if we have to try and recycle. We're gonna go against Ivar because I like red TP and Ivar is easy to find, so I I use him 
uh, to fight against often. You could also put boss plate on this. Um, for the second time around, you could absolutely put boss plate on it. You could put two words for you on it as well. A lot of different options. Four point five million health for Ivar. This should take him down to about three six. Yep, nine hundred thousand for that. Not too shabby. Um, when you're running Drew, don't be afraid to go lower on the board to get your snowfall gems as well. Um, there's three up here, but we get four right there. Um, so don't be afraid to do that. Also keep in mind you're changing the things underneath blue. Um, so if you get like three matches, you know, two next to them, you can uh, hit more snowfall gems as well. I don't in this case, but um, you kind of see the point. So 728,000 on the finisher. He's probably going to kick out. And we didn't recycle that time. Hopefully he does not take our green match. Oh, calm down, Ivar. Gonna try and leave every snowfall gem I can. And like I said, uh, remember my Drew is only 5 star silver and he's not even max 5 star silver. So uh, make sure and keep that in mind too. And we're going to have to use this green match here. So we have a few more snowfall gems this time, so we're going to hit even harder. This move hits really hard. 2.7 million. There, we did a million damage with that. Most of the way recycled that time is Ivar going to kick out. He's got lots of row breaks. Yes, he is. Okay. And this should completely drain his health. Not bad, uh, uh, five star silver. Too bad we didn't keep him down on any of those ones. And I also didn't recycle. It would have been a lot faster. But it does show you the power of this gear, uh, which is the main thing I want to do with this video. Okay, next move set. We're not changing a whole lot. We're gonna run dual MP trainers, and we're gonna start back at five star silver again, and then come back to Ivar at five star um, gold. So we're gonna go to Taker, and then come back to Ivar. Um, again, this set. Um, <clears throat> Wouldn't start uh, charged in feud unless you had a line bonus um, of plus two or a line bonus of plus one and the new Hogan um, at 17k. Um, then last move set I'll run is probably how I would run him in feud uh, with with this setup.
So Steel and Lawler for blue MP. We brought one move in. I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, I would change out to the Honky Tonk Man plate, probably. Um, or Cheap Shot or two words for you for this. So Future Shock 7 MP blue. Deal 49k damage and choose 5 gems to make into green. We just swapped Lawler in uh, for Breeze for blue MP. Uh, it's going to start with everything uh, loaded, and um, it's going to allow us to get the Snowfall gem move off twice on turn one, as long as we don't Cascade. Uh, last night I was streaming this on the Champs channel, and uh, MT was like, hey, I think you can get that move twice, and uh, you can, and it hits really hard. Um, so for tours, you can you can do this twice on turn one, as long as you don't get a Cascade. Feud, you'd need a little bit, um, a little bit more. Although with a honky tonk man plate and a five match and a three match, you may be able to uh, get it twice using Lawler and Rizar. Um So there is that. I haven't tested it uh, completely, but it's worth trying. Um, anyway, we're gonna hit really hard on Taker here, like nine hundred thousand. Now we're gonna reload it again and do it again. Um, so it's pretty cool. Two, three matches and we're good. We just want to avoid a cascade, uh, which can be dangerous with the snowfall gems, but fortune favors the bold, right? And then we can throw the snowfall gems out again. And, uh, his life is very much going to be gone. Very, very easy win. Alright. So, let's actually try that on the 5-star goal just to see how much damage we can do. And it's a lot. And so Ivar has 4.7 million health. This one's going to hit really hard, really, really hard. So he's at 3.3 million. All the way down to 1.8 million. Um, so we've done 3 million damage so far. And let's see how well the board is going to cooperate. Um, we have the five match there. I think I'm going to go this route. Yep, so we ended up doing three million damage turn one at five star silver there. Uh, and we'll easily be able to finish it out this time. Um, and what I was talking about, possibly, with the, the Honky Tonk Man plate, here, I'm going to set it up. Um, 
actually it won't work out. I don't have enough chews because no Razar. Um, so it won't work out. So never mind. We'll just go normal here. Uh, three. I also set up a row break here to catch a bunch of snowfalls. Not that we're going to need it, because uh, he's going to be very dead here. You can see this just grows exponentially every turn. And then, of course, he's very, very not alive at this point. That was a million gem damage at 5-star silver, plus the move damage. So this works really well uh, for tours, really, really well. Hits really hard. Uh, big fan of this gear. So let's see how I would run him for feud. This is the set I would use for feud. Oh, and ignore where it says double armor. For all of his stuff, I would run him double fury. I forgot to change that out, so apologies. Um, this would all be double fury, every move set. So we're just going to swap Ruzar in now for the MP trainer. He adds plus one blue. So we're bringing him in for steel. And we choose four greens. Um, so this would make the blue ready on turn one in feud. And we're going to go back to the five star silver in uh, Z Taker. So we're playing against an even level. And then probably come back to Ivar again. And this is where maybe you could do some stuff with a, a match, a three match, and then set up a five swipe to potentially reload your moves uh, if you had the Honky Tonk Man played on. Um, I think. So I haven't actually tried it this way yet. Uh, this is just what I was thinking. So I'm going to give it a try anyway just to see because I am curious. Uh, okay. Let's take that three there, and then... You know, the board's not as cooperative as I would like. So that's a blue there, but we haven't, um... Sure, okay, let's just do it like this then. No. Nope. That's funny. Everything is in the way everywhere. We'll do that. And then we will do... That. And then the rest kind of doesn't matter too much. Um, and it'll end up getting too cluttered for me. So I'm just going to throw a few out and probably call it good. Sure. You don't even need Honky Tonk Man plate for this, actually. And yeah, there is some some dependency on where these end up, though. Perfect. So you can get it twice, turn one, when everything works well, even without two MP trainers. It's actually the first time trying that. I thought you could, but I hadn't tried it, so you never know till you try, right? Um, the Honky Tonk Man plate would just help on the swipe in case you don't get a swipe higher up for your for your um, for your blue. Um, and to reload it um, when you're choosing the green. Not necessary, but I do think it would help. Obviously, um, 
cheap shot, two words for you, blue bomber, those normal ones apply. So let's try that on a five star gold. See if we can hit that twice. Um, again. But I think that's the ticket right there. Does require a little bit of setup. Um, and you want to be lower on the board so the snowfall gems don't mess up your five match. So you wouldn't want to do uh, like a, a setup of five match on the top, right? And Rizar lets you choose plenty, um, so that's nice as well. Ideally, this is where I would like putting my five match. And because there's two purple, we're going to make one uh, green. And then we just need three more. And we'll go right there on the edge. Should be pretty safe. Beautiful. I like this. Uh, definitely like this, and you could do this for feud, so... Uh, I'm a fan. Color me impressed on this gear. We're not going to get the biggest of pins here, um, because it just didn't work out where the snowfall gems are. But we did do a ton of damage at 5 star silver. And we should have no problem um, winning next turn at all. It might be enough, though. But I don't think so. So the other thing you can do, um, which I haven't shown and I will right here, because he's going to be a goner, you can choose into the snowfalls and make your own finisher. So we can blow up nearly the whole board as well. So I'll show you what I mean. That was over a million gem damage. Uh, that was like 1.2 million gem damage um, at 5 star silver. That's the other thing to remember. The snowfall gems also, when they break, are basically like uh, times two multi gems. Um, so when you have a board covered with them like that and he breaks it, it does a lot of gem damage too. Uh, so really, 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 really good gear. Um, does a ton for Tech Drew. Uh, I really want to get it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I showed off the gear and what it can do uh, well for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.